Hello everyone and welcome back to my playlist of pharmacology. We are doing this from Lippincott uh, book of pharmacology and today we are going to start chapter number 42 which uh, deals with all the drugs which we use for treating anemia. Now uh, today is the introductory video and then we will focus uh, uh, only specifically on uh, you know each and every drug which is used for anemia but first I want to give you an overview that um, what sort of drugs will be used and what are the you know scope of uh, this particular chapter so let's begin chapter number 42 and uh, the topic of drugs associated with anemia now you should know first of all the definition of anemia anemia basically in very simple words means decrease red blood cell count decrease hemoglobin in your body and obviously there are certain ranges ke usse niche hoga to usko aap anemia label karenge now when you have uh, low number of red blood cells which also means that you have low amount of hemoglobin then you start having problems for oxygen uh, carrying capacity so you know that we need uh, functional uh, find functionally normal red blood cells so that oxygen can bind onto the hemoglobin and can be carried from the lungs to all parts of the body so agar ye red blood cell ka count kam hoga to obviously aapki oxygen carrying capacity kam hogi and this is what we call anemia now you should also know that these blood cells are where they are. So the blood cells are actually produced inside your bone marrow. And when we say bone marrow, it basically means uh, marrow within the bones and particularly the long bones. So for example, if we talk about femur, if we talk about tibia, uh, there are also other areas of the body. There bones also in which blood is made, but long bones particularly. And uh, in the medullary cavity, there is a tissue which is what we call the bone marrow. And this is where hemeropoiesis happens. And there are so many different factors which are required for this process of erythropoiesis. For example, one of the factor is called erythropoietin, EPO. And that is basically released from the kidney. It goes on to the bone marrow cells and it stimulates the process of erythropoiesis and there are so many other factors uh, the growth stimulating factors which enhances the capacity of the bone marrow to produce more and more red blood cells so uh, this sort of discussion that we'll be carrying on um, in this chapter so today's focus is going to be overview of the process of uh, using different drugs for anemia um, and I already told you what do we mean by anemia anemia is defined as below normal plasma hemoglobin concentration and this decreased hemoglobin concentration is obviously associated with the decreased number of red blood cells um, the red blood cells are either produced in low number or the other scenario could be that they are produced in abnormal shape and if they are produced in abnormal shape they'll be destroyed much more so either the production of uh, these red blood cells is low so your bone marrow is perhaps not working properly that could be one cause and the other cause could be uh, could be that the red cells which are being produced they are no more the normal shape and if they are not the normal shape what will happen that these cells will go in the spleen and spleen may macrophages will destroy these red blood cells so uh, chahe red blood cell kam bane, decrease hemeropoiesis reason number one ya red blood cell abnormal shape ke ho, dono hi situation mein, uh, the circulating red blood cell count will go very very low and this is what will lead to anemia okay right so um, the bottom line is that there is uh, low amount of hemoglobin because of low numbers of red blood cells okay and there are obviously some signs and symptoms of anemia which include uh, fatigue uh, thakna, jese hum uh, obviously if you have low red blood cells and hemoglobin the oxygen carrying capacity I told you will be disturbed and if the oxygen carrying capacity is disturbed this by definition also means that the tissues will feel tired okay the next uh, important feature to understand is the palpitation which means increased heartbeat which a person is aware of kind of situation and this is called palpitation in EMA this is an important feature because the body demands more oxygen there is low number of red blood cells the heart tries to beat faster then there could be short breath again short breath is associated with decreased supply of oxygen to the tissues uh, they can be paler when we say paler it means uh, uh, rung jo hai bande ka jisko anemia hoga that will not be pinkish uh, tinge skin ke andar ek jo hota hai zard ho jayega rung kehte na peela pad gaya chehra that type of thing 
डिजीनेस ऑब्वियसली ऑक्सीजन नहीं पहुंच रहा टिश्यूज तक तो नर्वस टिश्यू पे भी ऑक्सीजन कम होगा सो दे विल बी डिजीनेस एंड आल्सो इंसोमनिया नींद नहीं आएगी दीस आर ऑल द वेरी कॉमन साइंस एंड सिम्टम्स ऑफ एनीमिया एंड समटाइम्स व्हेन यू आर ट्रीटिंग द एनीमिया यू ऑब्वियसली फोकस ऑन इंक्रीजिंग द नंबर ऑफ रेड ब्लड सेल्स बट समटाइम्स यू आल्सो हैव टू ट्रीट ऑल दीस साइंस एंड सिम्टम्स um and in long term the signs and symptoms improve if the number of red blood cells go up again anemia can be caused by chronic blood loss now now these are very important causes for anemia and we discussed this in great detail in pathology videos that what are the different causes of anemia so one cause for example could be loss of blood so think about uh, chronic loss of blood say for example if somebody in the intestine somewhere has a malignancy and that malignancy is bleeding into the lumen of the intestine and because of this chronic bleed uh, the amount of red blood cell in the body may reduce so that can be one cause chronic blood loss then there could be abnormalities associated with the bone marrow because you know bone marrow is the main factory for production of red blood cells so if the factory is affected you will produce low numbers of red blood cells okay there can be so many diseases like malignancies yeah fibro uh, fibrous uh, tissue Uh, replacing the normal red blood cell producing cells um myelodysplasia and what not okay the third thing which you have to consider can be hemolysis yani yeah, red blood cells ban rahe hain but they are being destroyed because maybe their shape is abnormal or there is some issue with the life span hereditary spherocytosis for example sickle cell anemia for example so these are all the diseases where we do produce red blood cells but they are not normal in their shape and therefore when the abnormally shaped red blood cells pass through the spleen they are destroyed by the macrophages there can be infections which can lead to hemolysis of red blood cell leading to low amounts of red blood cells in your body there can be cancers malignancies some endocrine problems so for example if kidney is not working properly you will produce less amount of erythropoietin and because you have low amount of erythropoietin this will lead to low production of red blood cell because i told you that erythropoietin is a stimulatory factor for production of red blood cells okay so therefore renal failure is an important cause of uh, anemia remember many students think ki kidney fail hone se anemia kyu ho raha hai it's because of erythropoietin okay a large number of the drugs cause toxic effects on blood cells हीमोग्लोबिन प्रोडक्शन और एथ्रोपाइटिंग एजेंट सो सिर्फ डिजीजेस से एनीमिया नहीं होता बल्कि बहुत सारी ड्रग्स से भी होता है सो रिमेंबर दिस ओके एंड देर कैन बी अ लॉट ऑफ न्यूट्रिशनल एनीमियाज सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ समबडी इज डेफिशेंट इन आयरन और फॉलिक एसिड और वाइटामिन बी ट्वेल्व दे कैन ऑल्सो एक्सपीरियंस एनीमिया बिकॉज ऑल दीज वाइटामिन दीज इम्पॉर्टेंट मिनरल एड्स एंड डायट्री एड्स आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द प्रोसेस ऑफ एरिथ्रोपोइसिस Now, individuals with a genetic predisposition to anemia, such as sickle cell disease, yeah, hereditary spherocytes, uh, ye sari diseases, genetic disorders. So, what I'm trying to explain, ki anemia ke uh, different spectrum hai. So, there can be diseases uh, such as chronic uh, blood loss, renal failure. and the chronic problem infections malignancies there can be um, a scenario when the patient is on certain drugs and the drugs are destroying the red blood cells there can be dietary deficiencies of a lot of things so all these things can lead to uh, anemia and low red blood cells okay all right okay so anemia can be temporarily connected uh, corrected by uh, provision of the whole blood so imagine you are dealing with a person who has anemia so if this is the person that you are dealing with and the person has anemia uh, one thing you can do is to provide immediate blood supply to the person so give the whole pint of blood and the amount of hemoglobin in red blood cells will go up but obviously you need to find out the root cause for this anemia unless you find out the root cause for the anemia you will not be able to correct it so for example if you give this person the required amount of blood but the person is still internally bleeding this blood supply will not correct the degree of anemia so you always have to find out the cause for this so cause nahi aap dhoondenge to aap usko completely properly treat nahi kar payenge so that's very important okay and um, this was the generic introduction now in the upcoming video what we will do is we will discuss in detail that how and what drugs you actually use 
to correct anemia in any person. So, for example, use of cyanocobalamin, which is a B12 derivative. Um, drugs like uh, darbipoitin, erythropoietin, epoitin alpha, folic acid, iron, they all are very, very commonly used to treat anemia. Then there is another condition called neutropenia, and this condition is particularly associated with decreased number of neutrophils. We will also in this chapter touch upon what are the drugs which are used to treat sickle cell anemia because uh, in uh, clinics we routinely use these drugs and we routinely see the patients with sickle cell anemia. So that's the spectrum of the chapter and that's the introduction for the drugs to be used uh, to correct anemia. We will discuss each one of them in great detail in the upcoming videos. So that's the topic for next video. I'll close this video here. All the very best. I'll see you in the next video very soon.